Joe Webb has been following the story since we broke it last August. He joins us live with today's new developments. Joe. Well, Cammie, the biggest question hanging over Bob Dew's head is how long is his sentence going to be? The prosecution is recommending 15 years, but when he's sentenced in April, the his, his attorney will argue that it be reduced to 10 years, and it will be at least 10 years. But the real question that a lot of people are asking is, what did he do with all that money? This is not how most people want to spend their birthday, but on the day Bob Dew turned 64, he pled guilty to 15 felonies. Abuse of public trust, theft by deception, unlawful access to a computer, and possession of a forged instrument is how the courts style what he did. Dew admitted to Judge Gregory Bartlett that he misused his position as Covington's finance director, wrote himself checks with taxpayer money, and then manipulated the system to cover his tracks. He agreed to a 10 to 15 year sentence and to pay back the $793,127 he stole. That's probably going to be, you know, 50 or $100 a month for the rest of his life, but, um, you know, we will be collecting that from him. He'll never be able to get off parole until uh, he pays his restitution. $800,000 is a lot of money. If some of it is hidden away, it's still hidden. Bob Dew has not been able to account for much of it. Investigators say it's a mystery because he did not have a lavish lifestyle, drug addiction, or gambling problem. The long story short is no, he hasn't explained to us where all the cash went. So we've been able to trace some of it, but not all of it. Dew's attorney says it's not a mystery, just a boring story. He says Bob Dew had an uncle who needed some help, and he paid for his children's college tuitions. But that's something many working people do without stealing from their boss. In essence, uh, it went towards supplementing his life and uh, the, the cost of living and really nothing that was outstanding or, or uh, uh, exciting. Schneider says Bob Dew is a wonderful man who did a bad thing. He will argue for the 10 years in jail, not 15. This is Bob Dew's first offense. He has cooperated. Schneider says Bob Dew is sickened by what he did. Bob Dew is going to do everything in his power to try to repay the city as quickly as possible. And that's a dramatic change of heart from a guy who did not quit stealing until he got caught and according to investigators might still be stealing today. Very easily could have been stealing today if he hadn't gotten sloppy last August. Now the criminal case against Bob Dew obviously wrapping up. He still faces a civil suit filed against him by the city of Covington. Cammy. Joe, what, uh, what happens to everything that Bob Dew already owns? Well, most of that stuff has already been seized, and that civil suit that I just referred that is still pending, when that suit was filed, there was a court order freezing all of his bank accounts. The city of Covington is going after his home in Independence, which we've shown on television several times. It's currently in foreclosure. Uh, they have sued to get his pension. He paid into his pension for 16 years and was making about $100,000 a year when he got caught. So there is some money to be got there. Anything that Bob Dew has that is tangible that they can get their hands on, they're going to try and get their hands on. The city of Covington has also filed a claim, a fraud insurance claim, with its insurance carrier. The insurance carrier has made an offer. They've rejected it. They're currently negotiating. So some of the money will be recovered there. But the bottom line is Bob Dew is on the hook for that $793,000. If they don't get it anywhere else, he's got to pay it. All right, Joe Webb, thank you. And Bob Dew will be formally sentenced on April 17th.